Queen City News honors Black History Month, and you can't talk about the history or legacy of Charlotte without mentioning the birthplace of many who carry that legacy today. As Queen City News executive producer Janet Parker found out, that place is 800 South Mint Street. Every year, tens of thousands of people walk this sidewalk to visit Bank of America Stadium. What many don't know or notice is the history that lies beneath and just outside. A historical marker recognizing what was once one of the only black hospitals in North Carolina. This marker is a very, very, very important memorabilia for me. 1961 a time when everything was segregated. I got my first job June 1st, 1961. I was taken under the wings of the nursing staff, all of the doctors. Lillian Heron was a nurse at Good Samaritan Hospital, or what some know as just Good Sam. I learned more than I could ever imagine. The privately owned black hospital opened on September 23rd, 1891 along South Mint Street in Charlotte. But while things were separate, they certainly weren't equal. But the only thing that really, really sort of, <laughs> sort of was disgusting to me was that our black doctors were not up to par as well as they could have been. Unlike other white hospitals in the area, Good Samaritan lacked basic diagnostic tools. Doctors only had access to or knowledge of certain medicines to treat patients. I submitted a prescription one day for a drug for a medical patient. And the pharmacist over the PA system called me out. Mrs. Heron, this prescription that you sent, we have not stopped this medication in 22 years. Options were very limited. She could only come to, to uh, Good Samaritan Hospital. Mecklenburg County Commissioner Arthur Griffin was born at Good Sam. Born the 13th of September, 1948. I want people to, to understand that this history, Good Samaritan's history, is their history. The Panther Stadium would never be here if this ground didn't exist. In 1961, Good Sam sold for just one dollar and became the Charlotte Community Hospital, an integrated hospital associated with Charlotte Memorial. They were actually saving lives every day here at Good Samaritan Hospital under sometimes at adverse conditions. In spite of integration, those conditions were rooted in racism where some white patients didn't want to be treated by black nurses. He hated the N-word. He hated us so bad until he never accepted his condition. On his way out, he cursed me for hours until he took his last, very last breath. While the building was demolished in 1996 to make way for Bank of America Stadium, Good Sam's legacy lives on through men and women like Heron and Griffin. The grit, the ingenuity, the intelligence, the ability to put things together to still provide excellent, high-quality health care uh, in a segregated environment. Uh, I'm just uh, forever indebted uh, to that professional core of nurses that really did a lot more, I guess, than you would think nurses would do. Nurses who, even at the age of 84, I am still today working on trying to make our community a better place, a healthier place, and a loving and caring place for all human beings. Still carry the stories of Good Sam. It's like a sense of pride among people that was born here or people who worked here. And that pride still exists today in 2024. With photojournalist Jack Anderson, Janet Parker, Queen City News.